Hey guys, what's going on? A little bit of uh, brain drainage again. First and foremost, I want to thank so many of you for the happy birthdays on uh, Facebook, on private messaging, on YouTube, on Skype. You know, it's it's amazing that you know just through this little media thing. I got well over two or three hundred happy birthdays, and that's crazy. That's friggin' insane. So my best friends didn't even, you know, acknowledge it. It's just cool. I mean, we've we've all got our own lives, and we forget stuff. No big deal. And birthdays aren't a big thing to me. I kind I was a little down yesterday about mine to begin with, um, and this was the first one that's hit me like that. Just because I feel like Jesus. Chris, I'm almost 50. What the hell's up with that? Um, sorry to all you 50 plus year olds out there, but. <laughs> Anyways, um, this brain drain, I got a couple couple things I want to talk about. Just real quick, and as per my MO, I don't investigate the hell out of the stories I'm talking about. But uh, we got this uh, GI that admits um, leaking uh, some. Uh, uh, secure information, uh, some uh, classified information. Now, like I said, I haven't investigated this all the way through, but the one thing that did stand out to me is his statement, which I'm reading right behind the camera right now, is, I believe that if the general public, especially the American public, had access to the information, this could spark a domestic debate on the role of the military in our foreign policy in general, Manning said. Um, I, I do believe that obviously we need to keep our secrets quiet, but when our secrets are going against our constitution or are breaking uh, international law, if you will, or just not right, per se, then somebody needs to speak up about it. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to this dude. I didn't even finish reading the whole thing. That that one sentence just really caught my, my mind. And then on top of that, we're throwing $6 million or $6 billion, I think it's $6 billion to Syria to help them out. Now, we're not throwing them arms or ammunition or anything else like that, but don't we have problems here financially? We're 16 trillion dollars in the hole. I think that that could be best used here. Um, I don't know about you. Why do I point at myself when I say you? I don't know about you, but if my family is in the hole, if me and my wife are struggling, I'm not going to be handing out money to my neighbor to help him. You know? If it's, you know, a little bit of physical labor or something that doesn't cost me money, sure. But what does this benefit us rather than keeping that money within the country to help us uh, fight down this um, king that we have that's trying to overrule everything? And getting more and more into the the Muslim, 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 whatever you want to call them, um, area. I just I just don't get it. I think we need to bring bring our troops back here and um, just protect ourselves, take care of ourselves first and foremost. We have oil here. There is oil here. We don't need their oil. We just have to get down there and get it. And with all the money that we could save uh, by not being over there, you know, personally, what the hell do I care if North Korea attacks South Korea? Um, obviously, I'm not a political guy, but uh, I just don't get it. We, we should be taking care of ourselves and not everybody else. Um, Next subject, gun control. Now, these idiots trying to outlaw assault rifles. 
uh, high capacity magazines. So do you think that grandma that killed her, I think it's two month old and two year old grandchildren, then herself, did it with an assault rifle with a high capacity magazine? I doubt it. Don't know for sure, but I highly doubt it. And as per uh, sheriff that I uh, shared a story from uh, um, Alex Jones, which I'm not an Alex Jones fan per se. I think about 10 to 20 percent of what he says is realistic, and then the rest is kind of rhetoric. Uh, conspiracy shit that is just not my thing and I know you guys a bunch of you are gonna jump on my shit and put a bunch of comments down below don't do it no reason to because you're not gonna sway me I believe what I believe and my beliefs uh, have to be backed up and when you say that you know you got these reports of you know somebody saying that well I can call on the Glenn back and say hey, I got a report that so-and-so did this and this and this, and he can make a whole story out of it, and he can inter even interview me over the phone, and all you hear is my voice, and he can give me any title he wants, and boom, now it's a big story. Uh, I I'm not big on that kind of stuff. So just hold off on the comments, because it, it just really gets irritating, and I eventually block you, and it's just none of us have fun that way, and it it's just not fun. So... But this uh, sheriff said that, you know, if if a gun grab came down, which I really don't see that happening anytime soon, um, if Obama had his way, I believe it could, but I think there's too many supporters of the Second Amendment to, uh, to prevent that. I, I am hoping and praying that, you know, the, the assault weapons ban doesn't go through and... I have a feeling it's probably not going to, but if it does, I still don't see a gun grab coming up anytime soon. With that, what's going on in my life? Well, I uh, did my yearly doctor checkup today. Fortunately, I'm not quite to the age yet to where uh, I demand a drink first. So that was good. Um, so far everything checks out okay of course he did call me a fat bastard need to look into doctor ethics <laughs> uh, but you know it's my slow season at work uh, I'm pretty much desk bound right now but when I get off of vacation in two weeks it's going to be balls to the walls out in the heat busting my ass and uh, the weight will come off it's just this is my this is my winter weight <laughs> um, other than that running some tests for a few other things whatever uh, tomorrow morning leave on our vacation get to uh, go see uh, my brother SoCal and my other brother from another mother Modoc really looking forward to seeing them uh, one or two others we're going to try to hit just depends on timing. We're not taking the motor home. We don't have the money. Um, trying to get the, the van fixed. The, I did stop by there today uh, to get my tools out of the van, the, the small toolbox I do have, to put in the trunk of the car. So if there's any problems on the road, then you know I can do what I can. But uh, transmission is done. They just need to stab it back in there. Um, but they did find some other problems. Uh, it's a 78 with an 83 motor in it, 83 uh, 350. And apparently, um, whoever installed it didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Pardon my language, sorry. Um, and the front of the pan, oil pan, is almost resting on the cross member, which means basically, if I go off road or whatever, there's a good chance I'm just going to cut my damn oil pan in half so that's not a good thing so they're going to take a look at that see what they can do with that um, I'm thinking depending on how he comes back to me um, just getting the uh, rubber uh, motor mounts and buying some new ones 
cutting them in half or in quarters, whatever, and then adding them to the ones that are already in there, lifting the motor a little bit. Now I know I may have to uh, work on uh, brake lines or stuff like that, but I, I really doubt it. Just to throw it up an inch. I mean, that's really all it needs. Doesn't every inch count? So I try and tell my wife anyways. Um, so I think I think I think the van will be up and going by the time uh, we get back from vacation, if not very soon afterwards. And then I will start working on the interior and some wiring issues, which uh, I'm not a wiring guy. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, this ran kind of long. Brain drains are supposed to be short because I have a very small brain. So, there y'all. There y'all. There y'all go. Take it easy. And if you don't see some videos from me for a little while, uh, it's because I'm on the road. I'm going to try and post some videos from my phone. Uh, they won't have the fancy intro and all that, so every time you see one of my videos that don't have the intro, remember, go to lowbuckpepper.com anytime you want to do any Amazon shopping, because trust me, it truly helps me and my wife out in our living and our preps. So, y'all, take it easy, have a good one, and uh, thanks again for all the birthday wishes. Take care, y'all.